Okay, uh, we have uh, Molly Season in the building today. He's an artist, singer-songwriter from Nigeria. How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, good. I'm pretty great. Nice being here. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah. For sure. Hi. Um. Yeah. So, um, where did you uh, grow up, uh, by any chance? Yeah, I grew up. Yeah, I grew up in Lagos, Nigeria. Um, yeah, it was really it was good. It was a good experience. It was like. Like growing up was very very nice. It was like it wasn't that all bad, even though like the country has its whole ups and downs and everything. But yeah, childhood was really really okay. Say for sure, man. And um, like I know Nigeria, it's like very popular with like uh Afro beats, like in that sense too, like. With like Whiskey, DeVito, all those people, Burner Boy, but like in the area that you grew up, was there like any musical influences or talent that inspired you to take part in the music scene there? Um, for me, it was a specific area of the country. I just say like more or less the, the country in general. A lot of great artists growing up from Jazzy to Whiskey, from Whiskey to the Bunch, and yeah, those really like. One of, one of like the people who inspired the whole music thing for this this generation that we are like they're one of the like pioneers and legends from Jazzy to Whiskey, Davido, rest. So they like the ones who pushed us, the young generation, like inspired us, like what we do. And people like me, yeah, they they really inspired people like me. Understand? Yeah. Okay. Um, and as far as your introduction to music, like what, like what was your first introduction to music, and how did you get into like making music? Okay, so um, basically, my first introduction to music is it as an artist or as a person? Because it goes it, it, two ways. It can go both, actually. You know, so yeah. Okay. As um introduction to music, actually I got introduced into music by my cousin. Yeah, because like we would like literally sit down all day, sit down all day, help him out in writing songs. But at that point, that was just like me watching him do it. But my main introduction into doing it into doing it as an artist was like in the university. Like I was part of this whole collaboration thing on the song and like that was like my first time going to go record a song in the studio. And that was like I didn't really I didn't really actually write my verse. I just did my thing and and people just actually felt me and I was like, yeah, that was it. For sure. Um and as far as like a musical history and background, did you have like any like family that like work that did music or any like friends in that sense too? Yeah, like I said, I had a cousin who did music and he was one of those people like I really looked at and like wanted to be like at that point in time. So he was one of those people like who introduced me to music. Even though he didn't like, like stay, he didn't though he didn't like do it to the end. But yeah, at one point he was like one of those people that made me want to like get involved. In everything. Okay. Um. And as far as you wanting to become like an artist and like musician, like what made you decide on wanting to be that? Like in a sense. Like I've been doing. Like I said, I've been doing this. I've been like wanting to do music since like. I saw my cousin doing it, but what inspired me to want to do it more to like get into music and, and on the mainstream was like me going to high school. It was like me going to high school, but at the beginning, I actually loved loved music as a per as as a person. I love music and everything. So like going to high school and like singing at the church at my school's church and everything singing at my school's church and performing at events and everything and everybody were like yo you have this is 
this is for you. This is what you're supposed to be doing. And I was like, yes, this is literally what I want. This is where I want, where I want to see myself in the future. This is what I want to be doing. And that was, those were one of like, those were one of those times that made me like feel like I had purpose in this time. So those that that was really one. Okay. And uh, for first time listeners, how would you describe your music to them and what can they expect? For me, um my music is free. I would say it's free. But basically for I would still say it's like I see my music like as an as an entity, as a person trying to like speak to people who can relate to it. To relate to it, to relate what it's trying to say. But sometimes my music speaks to my my music speaks to me. It speaks to me sometimes. And yeah, and I hope first time listeners that it it's able to lit it's able to talk to them and hopefully they will they be able to relate to what I'm trying to say in my music. And like I said, it's 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 a free sound, it's it represents freedom. Of which I it's it's hopefully trying to pass a message. For sure. Yeah. And hopefully um message. Okay. Yeah. And uh, do you have like a creative process like when you're making music, like in a sense? Um, I'd say sometimes it's not every time I have like I just say sometimes I kind of like right before going to the studio. Why sometimes I just let it like flow, be intentional about what I'm about to put in the song. Which is every artist is not actually great. Every artist they, every artist definitely makes mistakes and everything. They all make mistakes and I try to like make those mistakes intentional so that people can know that the entity and I, me, are are like are not gods that we are we are we are people who make mistakes and stuff. Music is is intentional. Try to make it vulnerable in all aspects. Yeah. So sometimes I like let it be intentional. I or sometimes I write before I go to the studio, depending on when the inspiration comes and and the environment the inspiration comes. So I just let it go and. Sometimes I just go to the studio and do what was ever on my mind. Like I just freestyle it and yeah, let it flow. For sure. And uh, what would like a day in the studio be like for you? Are you just like mainly like recording, or do you also do like writing as well too? You know, like while you're like in the studio and all that. Writing is a day in in the studio with me is fun, is expressive. Is intentional, like I said, is intentional. And the day in the studio with me is me being myself, you being to be, you being able to see the vulnerable part of myself, the emotional part of myself, being put into the music. So yeah, that's it. Okay, for sure. And um, so you have a song out now that's called like Heaven, which is out like on YouTube. Uh. Like, what was the inspiration and creative process for that song? Yo, so that's a crazy that, that's a crazy one. So basically, back in you in the universe in union school, so like I had this. I don't I don't want to really like go into detail, but I'm, I'll just like try to summarize it a little bit. So I was like in this whole toxic relationship and stuff. So like. At that point in time, that day I was just like talking to my friends. Then I don't, I think they kind of said something that sparked the whole feeling. It made me like think about the whole situation I was in at that point in time. And I was like, yo, I just got into my room, started writing the song. I had the beat already, played the beat, started writing the song. Then that's how it came. Then the following week, I went to the studio, recorded it. And I go by the end of, I think, yeah, I go by the end of the week and I put it out. And that was it. 
for sure and uh because it's like only on youtube uh right now like what made you decide on, on only having it on like youtube and like not like on other platforms like spotify or soundcloud or yeah. apple music she's um i did at the point in time of release it was mainly just mainly just for content it was just for content and at the time i was in, i was in when i when i actually recorded that song i was in that phase whereby i was not sure of the kind of music i was writing maybe the people in my the maybe people around me in my in my in my country like they really flow fuck with the whole sound and everything so i just like i was really insecure about my art my music as a person so i just like okay let's just see how it goes put it out i put the content out on instagram and people were like yo people were like yo bro this is literally fire that like, is this literally you that is this you i was like yeah what's what's up with that and they, and they were like bro this is not for content bro you need to put this song out and i was like okay let's try it let's put it on youtube so at that point in time i was like wasn't sure but definitely it's not going to be de definitely it's going to be out on all platforms real soon definitely but it was more unless about an insecurity thing so that was why i didn't put it on all platforms but it will be on all platforms real soon definitely okay now that's what's up um so from how i actually knew you you actually are kind of connected uh, with my guy uh the black uh, vaccine so um how did you manage to meet him and how was like the experience you know like tapping in with him like did he give you like yeah. any advice on becoming successful like in music and all that yeah he did he did but first off shout out to back to black vaccine he's really really like he's a really cool guy he's he's definitely for the past year i think he's one of those people that has been part of my whole creative process when it comes to songwriting and everything because at that point in time for a year, I think I've been following Black Vaccine on Instagram. So it was like, yeah, I was just keeping up and keeping up and keeping up, using the tips he dropped on his page to like write songs and get better at my art and craft and everything. So like, it was like last, I think I met, I met Black Vaccine about a month ago. About a month ago on Instagram. He was on live and... I just woke up around like four o'clock in the morning and I just like went on all that. Something just told me to get on Instagram and I was like, yeah, I got on Instagram. So he was on live and I joined. Then I think it was like previewing people's songs and everything. Then I sent I sent heaven, I sent I sent my I sent heaven and a couple of songs to him. Previewed heaven and I was like, yo, this is fire then. We're like, yeah, we started talking on the DMs and everything. He was like, this is really good that you really got something. You really need to work on yourself. Like, yeah, the industry is crazy, but like you will really get through it if you put your mind to it. Those are one of the advices he gave. And it really helped though, really helped. Because I, I kind of just got into, got into like, this whole this whole research phase and I kind of like found out that that was really true and I, it really opened my mind to a lot of things as an upcoming and growing artist okay no yeah. that's that's cool actually um and you know like for certain artists that that are like on the come up and like everything else uh too like do you have any like short-term and like long-term goals for your music career in a, in a sense yeah, short term goals is being able to make it on the mainstream. Those are one of my short term goals. Being able to make it to the mainstream, being able to get people to listen to my own type of music because I feel it's different. 
it's different being able to be ex be able to let people know that I'm very very expressive in respective of the genres or sound of music I'm making either it's from afro beats to uh, from afro beats to rock to pop music whatever sound I'm making at the point in time that's out I just want them to like be able to fuck with it. That's one of those short term goals. Then long term goals, I feel like to be able to like keep to keep delivering to the fans, being able to like be stable on the long run in the industry for a very long time and be able to like go around the world like tours and everything and do shows, have one one on one connection with the people that listen to me in all parts of the world. And yeah, I think that's it for now. Yeah, those are those are one of the things. Yeah. And being able to like yeah, just the art be itself in general. Okay. No, that's cool yeah. actually. Um you know I actually want to ask about your uh, stage name. Uh, how did you uh, get the name uh, Molly Season? Yo, okay long story short that was like in high school i was i was like a fan of i think at that point in time that was around the period like lupon just came out so like i used to like fuck with lupon a lot i always like sang a lot of lupon songs so my friends were like i think there was this whole phase where he was like using molly he was always saying molly molly and my friends just started calling me molly and before I knew it, the old school was like, yeah. So I was like, cool, why don't you just make it a name? But the season came like in university, I was like, yeah, that it's more or less, let's just make it like an affirmation thing. Like, let's make it an affirmation thing. Let me like, yeah, I'm prophesying it into existence. Like, it's my time, it's my season. Yeah, so that's, that's how I came into the word, the name. That's how I came up with the name, Holy Season was that was just it okay so that's good and uh you have like an upcoming single coming up um it's uh not out now but it's called uh oh my jar like i actually listened to it it's actually uh pretty decent so um tell me more about that and what like fans and, like listeners can expect okay oh oh my jar was a song i did earlier this year it was Something like I, it was me trying to push out of my comfort zone, trying to write songs out of my comfort zone. Yeah, and the song is mainly talking about it's more like a prayer and asking God for guidance and being able to be stable in all aspects of life, being able to like be strong despite all situations coming at me. So I expect people, I hope people can be able to relate to it. And yeah, they're definitely going to love the song. Definitely going to love the song. It's a really good song. Like you said, you already said it yourself. It's a good song. So yeah, people are definitely going to love that song. But that's what I expect from people, from the song to the people. Like they're, they're going to definitely be able to connect to it. That's pure. That, I that feel that song is pure artistry. So... They're definitely gonna express yourself. Yeah. Sure. Um and as far as like, you know, any everything else over this year, do you have like anything else going on? Um and uh do you have any like final words you'd like to say for any creative or any person out there <clears throat> dreams and all that? Okay, before I give out advice to fellow creatives like me, um I have a lot I have like a lot of music coming out real soon. Love songs, love videos, and everything. And I hope people, I just hope people can ride with me on my journey and everything. And to everybody out there that's a creative, I just hope, I just, my advice based on my experience, I would say don't give up. As, uh, well, that's one thing, don't actually give up. And I'll say anything, don't let what people say about you or about your art, make you insecure. Because your time will come, definitely it will come. 
everybody's time is around the corner. Just keep grinding, keep grinding, keep working. Art is a form of expression. And sometimes art, sometimes art is not easily understood because like, a lot of artists have been doing this like for a long time and they are just literally getting their shine right now. So like art is a form of expression and try to express yourself through the art and people who don't understand, let them don't understand. People who understand, they're definitely going to understand. There are a lot of people out there and they're definitely going to connect with your art. And also keep up the faith, keep the faith, keep the faith. That's all, that's what I have to say. For sure. Um, uh, Molly Season, uh, I definitely thank you for your time. It was yeah. a pleasure having you on, and I can't wait for the success to blow up, you know, so. Yeah, appreciate you. Appreciate, yeah.